Hello Virgo, happy weekend to you. I hope you are relaxing today. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Virgo, you want a soulmate reading to check out on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Virgo, for Virgo's highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Virgo in the life and how is Virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey what's coming up for virgo in their life and how is virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey this one over here wants to show up as extra message let's see virgo oh king of cups towards you wow wow this is amazing because this energy is reversed which is good yeah, when it's right side when it's right side up, it's alarming, uh, concerning. But when it's reversed, it's a good sign. The person you're letting go of that you're not with, that you're trying to get over, that you're trying to release, and move on from, loves you a lot. Um, this person's in love with you. Yeah, and this shows me that they realize what went wrong, what the mistakes were. You see, so that's a very good sign, right? Because we all make mistakes. But this person is seeing clearly now that they lost you. They admit how much you mean to them emotionally and what went wrong with the relationship, why they lost you. This is so important. This is a good message that they see clearly what the mistakes were. This is you trying to enjoy your life. Spending time in nature, loving yourself, nurturing yourself, beautiful. Letting go of the past. For you to face this energy, you are facing this energy over here, but you have look of contempt on your face. Joy, you see? It means that you are successfully letting go of the past. Any um, past relationships, whether it's family members, uh, co-workers, friends, neighbors, soulmates. This is you healing, releasing, uh, forgiving, not reliving your past, not living in the past anymore. This is you moving on with your life. It took you a while to get to this point, to this state. So be proud of you. Yeah, because you've done a lot of inner work to be able to look more objectively at your past and not overanalyze it and dwell on the past. You, you are... Uh, at a good point right now where you're able to look more objectively, release the past, forgive, and heal. You still have some healing to do, though. Yeah, you see this? You still have some healing to do, but you are on the right track because this energy here is reversed. Yeah, this is you healing from a lot of heartbreak that you've gone through in your life. A lot of disappointment, deep disappointment, including from family relationships. I'm so proud of you, Virgo. I know nobody has perfect life. Nobody. We all have issues. We all have difficulties. We all have relationships that uh, are difficult and some of them uh, try to come back, right? But this is you being on the right track. Yeah. Healing, releasing, forgiving, maturing. Yeah. Yeah. This is you looking towards your future, you're not dwelling on the past like you used to. You still have a little way to go to heal, but you're looking towards your future now. You're not dwelling constantly on the pain you had to endure, go through heartbreak, betrayals you had to go through. Uh, you're not wasting your time on the past. You're actually looking forward, you see, towards your future. You see, this is beautiful. I love this. You're going to be traveling somewhere, Virgo. Yeah, it's going to be really healing for you, good for you to travel, whether it's a short weekend getaway or travel that is long distance. 
you are very guarded you showing up as the most guarded queen of all queens queen of swords holding on to five swords which means that you let this person go and the two of you had some serious exchange of words um you you let them go yeah you were you expressed to them your deep disappointment in them and this relationship you still kind of holding a grudge towards them um and very guarded emotionally towards them yeah you let them go that the end of a relationship but this is on time this is so significant because this death card which is the end of one chapter beginning of new one is on top of reverse devil energy which tells me that you are successfully letting go of the past yeah where in the past you try to let go of uh, heartbreak and you always came back to it dwelling on it thinking of it over analyzing it feeling bad about what happened now you're able to look at the situations from your past more objectively and not be uh, negatively affected yeah and this is you uh, accepting what happened and moving on with your life enjoying your life you see this beautiful look how fabulous you are Virgo you are fabulous. This is the minor arcana of the Empress energy. Nine of Pentacles. You are available. You are attractive. You are very independent emotionally, financially. You are a catch. Look how beautiful your energy is. This is you blossoming. Feeling alive again. Feeling happy. Yeah. So there's some more stuff that you need to address. Uh, with time, you will. You see, this is you recognizing that you've been through a lot of heartbreak and betrayal in your life, but you are not uh, anymore allowing that heartbreak, those negative emotions control your present. You see, this is you being in control of your life, not allowing these past experience control you in the present moment. Yeah, beautiful. I'm so proud of you, Virgo. You've done a lot of inner work. Yeah, to be at this stage here, you still love this person, but you don't trust them. Yeah, you are very guarded emotionally towards them because of they, what they put you through. Um, you still love this person. Ace of Cups, unexpressed love, hidden love, unspoken love. But you feel that they would really need to earn your trust for you to trust them again. Like they would need to earn your trust through behavior that is consistent, not just pretty words and promises. Yeah, it took you a long time to be uh, at this stage where you are able to be confident with moving on with your life and not dwelling on the past and feeling sorry for yourself and having pity parties and reliving the pain in the past. This is you being more confident. Yeah. Yeah. This is you being brave, confident and moving on, not dwelling on the past. Yeah, travel is showing up here for you. You're going to be traveling somewhere. It's going to be very healing for you. Yeah, travel showing up here for you. I would take that travel. I would take that opportunity. I just recently came back from spiritual retreat. We went to Sedona, Arizona. It was magnificent. It was so beautiful. It was so needed by me. I felt so refreshed when I came back. Yeah, and I still feel it. We did aura pictures. Very interesting because... I've been taking aura pictures for, I would say, 30 years now. I'm 55 now. So I've been taking aura pictures on a consistent basis um, for 30 years. And uh, this one that I just took in July last month was different, totally different. Uh, the colors, the the intensity of the colors was so different it was like wow and the woman that read my aura picture to me was amazing not only was she intuitive read energy very well but i could tell she was reading people's eyes as well so she read my aura picture and she told me things that there's no way she could have known about me because she she doesn't know me never met me before didn't know who i am nothing so amazing how people can actually read energy uh, in person and on a picture. It's amazing. So yeah, if you never had aura picture taken, 
uh, find a place that you feel comfortable with, you feel good energy from, and take your aura picture. It's amazing. It's so fabulous to have aura pictures taken. I do it on a regular basis. You know, please show us what's coming up for Virgo. How is Virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah, look how powerful you are, magician. You look at this, your inner power, your inner strength is amazing. This is you taking control of your life, not feeling like a victim anymore of your past, but actually looking forward towards your future, taking control of your life um, and being very strong and resilient, moving on with your life. Yeah, see, this is you. Uh, it's like you're going to do something. Uh, you're going to take some kind of action that's going to shock you, that you're going to take uh, to break some kind of old pattern of behavior. You see this? You're going to finally not be scared anymore to take that action, do whatever it is you need to do uh, to break some kind of pattern of behavior from your past that has held you captive emotionally, spiritually. You're going to break some kind of pattern of behavior. Good for you, Virgo. I'm proud of you. Yeah. Yeah, look how powerful you are. Ace of Wands, powerful. You're going to do something that has to do with finances to bring some kind of uh, blessing, some kind of financial stability. You see this? More financial stability showing up here for you. You're going to make some kind of changes that have to do whether with employment or investments or purchasing something of uh, value. You're going to take a chance and you're going to see your money grow. Yeah. Virgo, what a reading. I didn't expect to see this. Yeah. Let's see what's going on with that soulmate. It's going to be a longer reading than I anticipated. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Virgo that popped up as King of Cups that Virgo is letting go of at this time that Virgo has been dealing with. And how is that soulmate of Virgo towards Virgo at this time, especially emotionally? What's going on currently with that soulmate of Virgo that Virgo is letting go of? They feel so much guilt, regret, heartbreak over losing you. Wow. This person regrets losing you. This is them. Um, sad. Losing sleep over this. Wanting to communicate with you so badly. That there's a lot that they want to express to you that they didn't before. But look at all those swords around them. they all pointing down, which means this person uh, has very hard time communicating, expressing emotions. They don't want to be sad anymore. They don't want to be heartbroken anymore. Again, King of Cups. This person's in love with you. Yeah. When you add these cups, five and one, they holding here makes it six of cups, which means they thinking of you, missing you, reminiscing of you. And this also means past life connection, six of cups. Um, this person knows you on a soul level from many different incarnations in the past lifetimes they feel very connected with you emotionally spiritually yeah they realize they didn't meet you halfway they didn't reciprocate you see this and they regret it deeply they regret not appreciating you not realizing your worth value when they had you now they see it so that's a very good sign right they see your worth value they also recognize how much they love you yeah again so Page of Wands, unexpected communication is heavily on their mind. This person is not able to stop thinking about you. Wow. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Virgo. Yeah, this means apologies, peace offerings. The question is, will they come through with apologies, peace offerings? They want to, but will they, right? So they have good intentions. This is reconciliation. So because they love you, which makes sense, they want to reconcile, but will they come through with that offer and will you be able to reconcile with them? That's the question, right? Yeah, you see, they realize they took you for granted because here under lover's card, we have a serpent, a snake. This person realizes they took you for granted. They didn't realize your worth when they had you. Yeah, they didn't offer you solid commitment, which they now see you deserve. So they're learning their lessons, which is beautiful. That's why we are here. We're here to learn, right? 
planet Earth is our classroom. We come to this planet incarnated many lifetimes. Some of lessons are extremely difficult to learn. We have to take several lifetimes to learn a certain lesson like forgiveness. They view us very intuitive, uh, aware, yeah. They also want to break this silence with you. Yeah, so the two of you uh, were through a lot of tough times in this relationship. A lot of disagreements, arguments, misunderstandings. Now they see things more clearly. You see, now they understand things better. They don't want to fight or argue, no. See, now they realize that they should have appreciated this relationship. Now they do. Now they appreciate this relationship. They didn't commit to you, yeah, for this serpent to show up here. Look, you see, this person loves you. Unspoken love, hidden love, unexpressed love. Wow. Sometimes we have to lose someone of quality to realize their worth and how much they mean to us, unfortunately, right? It's a lesson that we need to learn at times. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Virgo. Oh, wow. Um, this is them missing you, feeling sad. Look, look how much they miss you. They don't hear from you, so you're not reaching out to them. Yeah. So this is them trying to figure out how to manifest this communication with you if it's not too late. Yeah, this is them missing you, feeling sad. Yeah, this is them trying to heal because they see that they repeated the same pattern of behavior from their past relationships in this relationship with you. And this is them trying to break that pattern of behavior and learn from the highest good. You see this? Beautiful. This is them learning, recognizing more the mistakes where we all make them right, but we need to recognize them. Wow, I didn't expect this reading at all, Virgo. We're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmates entering your life. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good and of course at the end we're gonna ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life including new soulmate entering your life new chapters new beginnings in your life also your health finances business job opportunities family matters friendships whatever it is you need to know they'll show it at the end of the reading as well so we're gonna click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and I'll see you there. Love you guys.